Thank you for joining us on Out and About Mendocino and Mendocino TV. Today, we interview CPA Jerry Murphy. Hello, my name is Terry Vaughn. I'm with Mendocino TV, collaborating today with Out and About Mendocino to talk about a subject that's on everyone's mind this year. That's the Affordable Care Act. Today, we have Jerry Murphy, CPA from Fort Bragg, California. Jerry, tell us a little bit about your services. We're a general service CPA firm. Uh, we work with small, medium-sized businesses, been in town since 1976. And uh, the point of our service is to help business owners make better decisions. And to do that, we talk to them, listen to what their issues are, and then try to communicate back to them in a non-technical way how we'll solve or help them solve their problems. Okay, well, Jerry, every small business owner is concerned about the ACA. Many are trying to understand if they'll be required to buy health insurance for all their employees. How will these small business owners cope if that's the case? The Affordable Care Act divides businesses into two main sections, those with 50 full-time employees, 50 or more, and those with less. If you're a business with less than 50 full-time employees, there is no mandate. Small businesses also claim that the ACA requirements are too complicated to follow. Do you agree? I don't think they're too complicated for small businesses. For instance, now, this, this, the small businesses and large businesses are required to give employees information about the business and if they are providing health insurance to the employee, information about the health insurance. The employee needs that in order to go to the exchanges and to see what kind of insurance rates and credits they'll be eligible for. That's a requirement on small businesses and large businesses, and it's only a matter of providing the employees with some information. So it's not that complicated. The Department of Labor has on its site a sample notification, which you can download. Any small business, anybody can download that, um, and we have them for our own clients we've, we've developed. There's a little sweet spot, though, that's going to be an employer with 40 full-time employees to about 60 full-time employees. Those, uh, fortunately, are in a very small minority of the total businesses. 97% of businesses are fall in the less than 50 employees. So only 3% are going to be affected by this mandate. And those that are affected by the mandate, most of them will already provide insurance. Now, for a group from 40 to 60, they may have a decision to make. If they need to expand their business, do they cut down full-time employees? Or do they go for it and get over 50 and then become subject to the mandate? Now, that's a, fortunately a very, very, very small percent of the total number of employers that we have, and so whether or not they cut employees or uh, add insurance, the, the impact that they have on their decision, the, the impact of their decision will be very small. What do you tell people who are crying out that the ACA is the number one job killer in today's economy? I tell them that statistically that's an impossibility. The number of firms that are going to be impacted by the requirement to provide health insurance for their employees that don't already provide it is a minuscule number of, num of firms. Uh, Percentage-wise, it's probably less than 2% of all the firms in the country. It's so small that it's statistically impossible for them to ha be, have a serious effect on the jobs. And speaking of the impact the Affordable Care ha ha Act will have on small businesses, in some ways, it's actually a job creator most small businesses pay more for health insurance for their employees than large businesses. It's the power that large businesses have to buy. Now, with the Affordable Care Act, insurance companies can't differentiate between large and small companies. We need to go to a community rating system instead of a company rating system, which means that the Affordable Care Act puts small businesses in the same group that large businesses are to buy insurance for their employees and so it will be less expensive for a, large, for a small business to buy health insurance for its employees. Well, thank you, Jerry, for your clarity and for joining us today on Out and About Mendocino. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for having me. For more information on the Affordable Care Act, contact Jerry Murphy in Fort Bragg, California. This is an Out and About Mendocino production with special guest Terry Vaughn of Mendocino TV.